Hey guys, it's Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today, I'm super excited to show you the brand new 19 MKS Creekside by Outdoors RV. So there's a lot of reasons why I'm really excited about this one. Um, I ordered one for myself, so I'm excited to get to use it. Hopefully I get to use it before somebody here sells it. Uh, but I'm excited about this floor plan for a ton of different reasons. They call it a 19, tip to tip, it's 24 foot one inch. It's lightweight, half ton towable, but it's the perfect transition unit for, in my opinion, for somebody who maybe you've been backpacking for years, tent camping for years, maybe you've even had a small trailer. You want the quality of the outdoors RV, but you just really don't want anything too big. This unit is gonna be absolutely perfect for that type of a person or small family, that's what I would be using it for, or even just a couple's trailer. So if you want something that you can get into any spot, again, 24 feet tip to tip, you can get this anywhere. And they've been really innovative with the floor plan design, including a wall bed, which is really cool. Uh, but they've really been innovative. I mean, you get 10 feet of counter space in a 19 foot trailer. How is that possible? A huge bathroom, which I'll show you. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use the wall bed. We'll show you how everything is accessible with the slide outs in. Then I'll take you on a quick walk around of the outside. So this particular model is in the titanium edition. If you're unfamiliar with the differences between the mountain series and then the titanium series, we do have a YouTube video on our channel that'll show you all of the differences. I'll touch on a few of them today, but maybe not all of them. So if you're confused about that, be sure and watch that video. So let's start out, we'll start with the kitchen and then I'll walk you around and we'll finish on the wall bed. So again, over 10 feet of counter space. And so that also gives you just absolutely tons and tons of storage. You've got the titanium series stainless steel oven. This one has the ignition for the stove. So you don't have to get in there with a lighter and light the pilot light. You get the knife rack behind the stove. And yes, this is designed. It's actually a knife rack. It's not a vent, but it's a vents right here. This is a knife rack. You've got the glass cover to give you extra counter space when you're not cooking on the stove. Three burner stove. All solid surface countertops. You're going to get that in the mountain and the titanium. Stainless steel appliances, that's specific to the titanium. Overhead cabinetry. I mean, I'm not kidding. There is so much storage in this. And then you even have a nook back here, which is kind of cool. You could make this into a little coffee nook. You could store whatever you want. It's, it, I wouldn't maybe put anything too heavy for when you're traveling, but you could definitely store stuff here while traveling. You get the single basin farm style stainless steel sink with the sink covers, the high arc faucet with pull out. And then in this sink, you get the wire rack to protect the bottom of the sink. There are additional drawers and cabinetry. So three more drawers here, a huge spice rack, tons of storage right here, a pot and pan drawer right here with the lock on it. So it doesn't come open going down the road. And then over here, I don't know if it's easy to see, it's a nice tall uh, storage area. So that, if it was me, I would almost put in a divider like I have in my kitchen at home to where you can store cookie sheets and things of that nature. Because this is a creek side, you're gonna get the Norcold seven cubic foot refrigerator. And there is access when the slide out is in because it's back here. Uh, in the bathroom, this is equipped with the same shower pan that you would see in a 260 or a 26 KVS. So this is the biggest shower pan you're going to get in an outdoors RV. Again, all in a 24 foot tip to tip package. Titanium features the stainless steel sink under slung and the um, solid surface countertops in the bathroom, the solid hardwood medicine cabinet, porcelain toilet, the vanity mirror, towel hooks right behind the toilet. I'm not sure if you can see those. A nice big cabinet under the sink. And then we equip all of ours 
with the Max Air Deluxe Vent Fans. So that is going to be an additional option that you get from Outdoors RV. We equip all of ours, we order them all with that. It's a must to have those. Okay, so most floor plans in other brands that have a Murphy bed, they would actually have the couch here and the bed comes down on top of the couch. But then there's nowhere to sit if the bed is down. I love what Outdoors RV did with theirs and they put the seating in the slide out directly across from the 12 volt Jensen TV. You can get theater seating here or like in my case, I would need the sleeper sofa. But having the seating over here, when you have the bed made down, sure, you can no longer use the dinette, but I feel like that's a better use of space than having the couch under the bed. The other thing is that this is not your standard Murphy bed. So typically a Murphy bed is gonna be kind of a, not the best mattress. It's not gonna have, you typically have to fold it out. It's just, I've never been a fan of Murphy beds until this floor plan came out. This is, when I pull it down and you see, it's gonna have the standard titanium mattress. It's a 60 by 80 queen bed. So, I mean, it just blows everything else out of the water. Um, that is why I ordered one for myself because I just really wanted to try it out. I think this is such a cool use of space as I've already said a few times. So you're gonna get, a, it's not quite the mountain dinette. It's gonna be a little bit shallower here, but you can still easily seat a couple of adults and maybe even a couple of uh, like adults and a couple of small children. So to make up the Murphy bed, it's pretty darn easy. And Outdoors RV, they make everything better, right? So I've seen a lot of Murphy beds in different brands. They always have a really tacky latch system. They've gone with a heavy duty latch system and also a heavy duty spring. So we put a ton of bedding on this. As you see, when I pull it down, you're gonna see that we've got this bed fully made. It's really, a one hand operation, unless you put as much bedding on as we did, uh, then you know you have to push a little bit, but these latches are super heavy duty. And there's also a cable that you can put across for traveling purposes. Um, but for this video, we just left that part off. So you would flip up the table. Then you've got these little supports on each side of the dinette. Okay, so now that we have these two supports up, all we're gonna do is unlatch this. And because we have so much bedding on it, it's a little bit stuck, but you gotta get that Pendleton blanket on there for the full effect. And bam, we have a titanium foam gel infused mattress which is so amazing. You've probably heard me say it a million times. I actually have this exact mattress at home. Full 60 by 80. You still have the titanium reading lights on each side. Solid surface countertops next to the bed. Under cabinet lighting. On each side of the bed, you also have a 110 outlet, a 12 volt outlet, and a USB port. So you do have, you know, I get asked this a lot too. You are gonna have these right here to get into bed. You will just step up on the dinette cushion, but I don't know if it's just me, but I think that's fine. Uh, again, I think that it's a great use of space and I would rather have the bed coming over the dinette than over the sofa. Cause I really wanna be able to sit somewhere and maybe even keep my bed made down. So I just absolutely think this is the coolest floor plan. So. I will now walk you around the outside and then we're gonna show you what it also looks like with the slide out in so that you can see if you can have the bed down and what all you can access. So with the slide out all the way in, you can still make down the bed, have the dinette made down, whichever you prefer. We don't recommend that you use the slide out while it's in. We do want it to be all the way out, but everything in the trailer, as you can see, is easily accessible. So you could easily use everything in here without even putting the slide out out. As many of you already know, the Outdoors RV products 
are a step above the rest for a lot of different reasons, but one of them is going to be their custom built chassis. This is a Creekside, so it's gonna be custom built on a six inch I-beam chassis. Everything is weighted per floor plan. So this is gonna be a different frame as far as where they've weighted everything compared to like say a 21 RBS, not just in length, but they design them for the best quality of tow. On top of that, they do the off-road X4 suspension package, which you can really see on this model. So that is heavy duty shackles with greasable zerts, the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension, and then the KYB off-road shocks. You also always get the Load Range E tires. The Creekside is gonna be on a 15 inch wheel versus the Blackstone and the Timber Ridge are gonna be on the 16 inch. This is gonna be on a 15, but it is still a 10 ply Goodyear Endurance E range tire. The other thing that sets Outdoors RV apart is their Four Seasons package. So there's no regulation in the RV industry. So there's a lot of companies out there that say that they have a Four Seasons coach when they really don't. So they start with a two inch thick sidewall Everything comes standard with dual pane windows, a fully enclosed and heated underbelly, but not just enclosed with a heat duct down there. They do that, but literally everything is up and enclosed. You're not going to have any water sitting in a pipe with a valve that's exposed. You're going to have an insulated outside shower door, and you're also going to have insulation in that underbelly. A lot of companies say enclosed and heated. Sure, they have a piece of plastic on the bottom and a heat duct. This is fully insulated, astrofoil around the tanks. They even make airspace so that the heat can go around the tanks. So they've just really gone above and beyond as far as their Four Seasons package. Everything they do is quality from the ground up. So on this model, because you have that rear kitchen area, there was some dead space right here in the back. So they gave you this little cubby and of course it's got the rubberized diamond plate just like the front with the slam latch doors just like the front and as always thick and insulated outside speakers push button electric awning frameless windows because it is a titanium series 110 outlets and then you also have a propane hookup here which is what they call the fire pit barbecue hookup this is for your six gallon rapid recovery water heater. This is where you're gonna fill your 78 gallon fresh water tank. You get the extend a hand, grab bar handle, triple aluminum step. The titanium has the elongated window in the door and it also has a shade on the inside. Titanium feature is gonna be the auto leveling system. That's one of my favorite features. You push a button when you get to where you're going and the whole trailer auto levels itself. No more rolling up on blocks or anything like that. It just does it all itself with the push of a button. High gloss fiberglass Lamalux 4000 exterior. Here is your pass through storage. Rubberized diamond plate on the floor. This is all fully insulated. In here, you're gonna see a battery kill switch, a 12 volt outlet, an USB port. That's nice if you're outside and you want to charge your phone or something like that, or you want to use a 12 volt compressor style fridge freezer. We sell those, the Dometic brand, they're awesome. Right here is going to be a port to plug in a portable ZAMP solar. This is pre-wired for ZAMP specifically. ZAMP already has a built-in charge controller on the portable panel. So it is separate than the charge controller that runs the roof mounted solars. All outdoors RVs are available with one, two, or three, uh, up to 190 watt solar panels on the newest models. It used to be 170 watt, the newer ones are now 190. They've also switched over to a 40 amp charge controller from the original 30 amp ZAMP charge controller. You've got the diamond plate across the front here, and then the half cap on the creek side. This is gonna differ to make it a little bit lighter weight for a half ton pickup. Uh, from the Timber Ridge and the Blackstone that has the big fiberglass cap. This is going to have a half cap. We ordered this particular model with solar panels on the roof. So then we've got the four battery tray. I get a lot of confusion on what the tray is. That comes from the factory. So rather than just two pieces of angle iron where you set two batteries, this is this big piece of metal here 
that sits on top of that angle iron that then allows us to put on the four battery box. So from the factory, you're ordering this tray. The box is done once you get your trailer to Thompson RV. And this box is specific to us. We have it custom made here locally by a family owned and operated machine shop. It's a uh, fully welded aluminum and then it's a uh, powder coated for longevity. This is the toy lock. This is gonna be an option from the factory that we stock on all of our units. It's called the mountain storage system. So it's the two inch receiver hitch on the back of the trailer, which I'll show you. And then the toy lock on the front. Those two things come together. Two seven and a half gallon propane tanks with a regulator that automatically switches over. Front power jack is gonna be standard on all outdoors RVs. This one is off the ground. It is supposed to be like that. The auto leveling system brings that front jack off the ground. Once the four jacks are deployed and have leveled, that is supposed to be off the ground. Right here, you've got the front uh, caddy. So you can hang your safety chains, your seven way cord. It even has a plug for the seven way cord so that it doesn't get dust and dirt and water in it while it's in storage. Coming around to this side, here is the other side of your pass-through storage. Magnetic catches and slam latch doors. Slide topper, that is something specific to the Titanium series. They did make it an option this year on the Backcountry and the Mountain series. So now you can order it from the factory or we can do it once the unit arrives here. Your fresh water dump valve is right in front of the slide out on this particular model that is fully enclosed and it's an inch and a half. So because you've got 78 gallons of water, if you get home and you sell 40 gallons, a little half inch petcock's not gonna cut it. So you have a nice knife valve to drain that fresh water tank. On this side, this is where you would hook up to city water if you were staying in a park. This is your black tank flush, outside shower, and then a dump valve right here because your gray and your black are gonna come out of this tube right here. And you can see in the dark if you need to do that in the dark. Coming around the back, your 30 amp power cord is a twist lock. It's gonna come right here and connect there. The cool thing about having a twist lock that with a separate cord is you don't have that cord going into the trailer where mice can get in. They really try and rodent proof these trailers as best as they can. So all along the underbelly and everything. And then once the unit gets here, we go through and make sure that there's no gappage so that little critters don't get in. Here you've got satellite and cable hookup. Because it's a titanium and it comes with this, the backup camera, you also have backup lights. This is really handy for when you're backing up in the dark. The backup camera is specific to the titanium, but they did make it an option. That was something that we were adding to all of our mountains and back countries once they got here to Thompson RV. It is now an option from the factory. This is your spare tire, but it's actually a good quality. It's the exact same tire that comes on the trailer. So the Goodyear Endurance Load Range E tire. Furnace access, refrigerator venting and access. This is your two inch receiver hitch. It's rated for 250 pounds. So if you wanna haul e-bikes or something on the back of your trailer, you've got that right there. That's part of that mountain storage system that comes with the toy lock on the front. And then here you've got the heavy duty ladder. So this is nice because you do wanna get up on your walk. It's a full walk on roof. You wanna get up there every six months to check all of your roof sealants. So you need a good way to get up and down and they've put on a heavy duty ladder for that exact reason. Thank you so much for watching our 19 MKS video today. I really think this trailer is gonna be super popular. I think that it's going to reach a really broad spectrum of people. So whether you're a single guy and you just wanna get out and go fishing with your dog, or you've got grandkids and you wanna be able to sleep them on the sleeper sofa, but you don't want a gigantic trailer, or maybe you love tent camping, you love backpacking in the wilderness, but for all those other trips, you just wanna get up off the ground and have a nice comfortable mattress. I just think this, this particular unit for a small trailer is such a great use of space. Then you top it off with the Outdoors RV quality. I mean, it's just a home run. So if you have any questions, pricing, availability, give us a call here at Thompson RV. We've got the number listed down below and let us know if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.